boom. Welcome to Comic Con Cows. I'm your host, Eric Schoenberg. You just like to go boom when I do that. I, I love it. Ian Andrews. <laughs> That's right. So go on. My Ian. private little dries. It's, it's, joys. It is. I can't talk. This is a twisty. I got my a Minecraft. I'm sorry, but it says turn here. You can still do it. And it's still a twisty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway. So now that it's open, what is it? So, what we're going to do is something that's completely different. Never, I don't think... Oh, I, that's I, a Monty Python quote. You can't use that. Really? Now, something for, now for something completely different. That's not what I said. Okay. I said, now what we're going to do is something completely different. Okay. It's beer. I don't think we've ever I done love, beer on the show. I love beer. I don't know. I don't think so. That's a crime. To love beer? And this beer? is... To not have done beer on the show. What's it called, man? Cocktails. Cocktails. Shiner I Farmhouse Ale? Or is Shiner? it different? No, and that's no, spring provision they, they, ale. They, well, I don't know. This is just farmhouse ale. Okay. Sorry. What do you got? Yeah, that's the same thing. They okay. just sent me. It, it's available in, in draft, can, bottle. Okay. Seasonal, right? You told them to send it to you on draft. I didn't. I, yeah. They <laughs> said something, and they're like, "You want to try? I'm sure." So boom, it showed up in the mail like nice. two months ago. It's an ale, so it's a. Uh, yeah. It's a top fermenting yeast. I can tell you that much. Whoa. Boom. We've got somebody who knows something about <laughs> beer. Um, it's got a. Uh, it's oh, what was the IBU? It's twenty one IBU. Okay, so so it's, it's light. Yeah, beer. it's not crazy. It's not over hopped. The IBU is uh, deceptive because depending on the heaviness of the beer, right, a higher IBU can get masked by a heavy beer, but a lighter beer with a higher I, uh, the same IBU will taste hoppier. Right. So an IP like an IPA. I think I had the IPAs at forty to sixty. Uh, it depends on the IPA. They go right, as high as like one twenty for some of those crazy but hot people. But Sierra Nevada is thirty seven, so it's a little less. Guinness is thirty to forty five, mm -hmm. which I thought was high. But you don't taste the hoppiness because no. it's a heavy beer. So there you and go. And it's very good. Like it tastes like chocolate, like ice cream. Yeah, I love it. And I love Guinness. this is not. This uh, this doesn't smell like Budweiser. Hit the cough button. Nope. <coughs> we don't have one of those. Uh, I can't afford one yet. Nobody's paying me. Um. Okay, I thought Don just hit the cough button because he coughed. <laughs> no, because I heard it. <clears throat> so, all right, five point seven here. So farmhouse ale. You can pass this to the audience. Woohoo! Now we're drinking. Uh, what's good? <clears throat> five point seven, about average for a beer I would drink. For yeah, for for a good. I'm beer. not a Bud Light drinker. A lot, of, a lot of the like even Guinness is a low percentage. Guinness is like three something. Yes, which is but, why in a black and tan, it'll flow on the top. And then the IPA falls apart. Heavy. I don't know why that is. It's weird because you'd think the higher alcohol content would be lighter and float up. Because alcohol is lighter than water. Yes. But. It's science. I think what probably happens is the residual sugar. Yeah. Like if you have a high alcohol beer, if the alcohol is There's still a lot of malt right, in there. The, yeah. the, the sugar hasn't been converted into alcohol, so you end up with a lot. It's sink. That's got to be why it would. Well, it depends. Because you can have a high alcohol, but still have a high malt content. True. Um, so I think that might be. Did you try this? Is this is good. I like this. Mm. It's it's hoppiness is refreshing. This is a good lawnmower beer. At five point seven, I guess it's a lawnmower beer. Yeah. I it, think lawnmower beer. I think like it's not an imperial or something. Light. But like <laughs> no, yeah, Coors think, Light is like I want to be able to sweat out in the beer, not drunk. But but this in. is like a, a outside in the sun, yeah. refreshing. It's fruity, but it's got you know what? It's it's almost like they dry yeah. hopped it or something. Like there's a lot of aroma. Almost earthy, like the aroma. Yeah, I uh, not like poopy or anything, but kind of has like that earthy tone to it. Like yeah, it does. I mean, but you it get is that from fruity. the combination of hops they use. I think they have. I think what I do they have. No, it have? Uh, I, I can't read my own writing. Let's yeah, no see. one can. A seasonal. Why should you be able to? Pilsner and wheat malt spice. Oh, fruity. Yeah. Uh, wheat, wheat gives it earthy. And the FM nine six six, the road down the street from the brewery. Ah, okay. So they can always find it. That's uh, not a radio station. No, nope, it's not. So, it, on an IBU <laughs> so they rating, don't get lost on their way to work? Right, right. That's good. I guess <laughs> if you're making beer and you're drinking right. beer all day. And then a barley wine. You've had barley wine, right? I that's have, like I've made a barley wine. IBU is like 50 to 100. Um, the, 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 bar, the barley uh, I've wine, never had the alcohol barley content wine. is usually high. I got like an 11% barley wine that I made. I'll bring yeah. it over. It's a bourbon barrel. It's, uh, you might like it. I, like I used uh, wood, uh, wood, wood Wood chips? Beer. No, no. Uh, the bourbon I used, I soaked uh, Woodford. Reserve. Yeah, yeah. For reserve. I used for the <laughs> last one that my father made, we soaked uh, Devil's Cut mm -hmm. in oak chips. Oh, that's kind of cool. And then let it suck it all up. Then you pour more on there and it sucks it yeah, all yeah, up. Yeah. Then you pour that right into the beer. and, and the, good. Then he pours the remaining rest of the bourbon into the beer. And Does he? It, <laughs> it, yeah, you get like a 14% or something crazy. Yeah. That's, it's a mix. It's yeah. <laughs> that beer is really easy to drink. It's really easy to drink. Which is good. There's still some in here. 
See how easy that was? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Way to prove a point. I man. was not inhibited <laughs> from drinking. You weren't. That, that went down easy. Really smooth. It doesn't made for spring. The hoppiness is really good. It's like I like the hoppiness because it's not. I don't like I'm, bitter beer. Yeah, I'm not crazy about the hoppy hoppy beers like the hop devil and, yeah. and anything you know, with the word hop in the title. Yeah, you don't like hop beer, right? They can be. Cr I mean, I, he likes pumpkin beer. I, I can. Pumpkin's good. I got it. I'm not gonna I'm, lie. <laughs> <laughs> He's not lying, I'm, folks. I'm not lying. Um, yeah, I like the hoppiness. I like the hoppiness I, in here because yeah. it tastes like it I have adds a hop beer. beer. It adds to the beer, it's not bitter. It doesn't obscure the flavor of the beer. Correct. Yeah. There's still fruit, but there's hops, a little tart, but not much. And what's kind of cool is like there's like a, this is a little bit different for a small brewery because a lot of small breweries love the Belgian ales. Right. The Belgians are the artistic beers. You can do They're some crazy white, stuff with Belgians. Almost. Well, no, no. I mean, Belgian has a triple, a du uh, double. Uh, so not the ones that are like, they almost look like there's floating milk in it. Well, there, there's the Belgian That's, whites, like yeah, the blue but, moons and stuff. Yeah, and they're but like, then, so some pink. Belgians can be really, really dark also. Like, you got like, um, half. Is that half of Weizen? No, uh, that's. Not, not dark. Uh, no, like, uh. Dunkel Weiss? Uh, Dunkel. I don't know that that's a Belgian. Dunkel is dark, but I. Yeah. Keith Rowe Weiss, it's wheat, dark wheat. That's the word I'm looking for. Not Franz and Connor, it's, uh. Franz Frambois. Is it's like a red. It's like a raspberry type beer, or a creek, which is dark with cherries. Yeah, those are, those those are, are all Lambics, Belgians. aren't they? Yeah, Lambics are Belgians. Yeah. But they're crazy. But Lambics. I like Lambics. Dude. I like all those Belgian beers. They're great. No. But anyway. Lambics are. I had a point. Oh, yeah. In your point. <laughs> the yes. point was that they're not making a Belgian. They're making an ale. They are. So many places make lagers and like the big companies no, make lagers. Make. Yeah. And then a lot of small companies make and, and, and show off their Belgians. So it's kind of cool right. to see a small brewery showcasing an ale like that. No, it's just true. It tastes There's really good. A lot of that's true. A lot of them are lagers. Uh, my father likes making ales, which is weird yeah. because I was like, "Why aren't ales are easier lager? to ferment? You don't have to worry about temperature as much." Right. He's like, "I don't. I make them in the summertime. Yeah. You, you don't make lagers in the summertime unless you have a cave, yeah. or you're making them professionally and you actually have, and you have the chillers and everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We do, we don't have that, so we don't make a lot of lagers. Germany, yeah. they can put them in caves and store them in there, or they're ales made tend at to the be right home, time. Home brewer. Friendly because right. you don't need a big setup. Or you make the you make the lager, you lager it at, in the winter or late or early early spring, and then you can have it for summer. But you have to kind of yeah. do a whole lot of planning ahead, and then you got to ferment in the cold. And you but if you're a home brew, it's hard to wash things when it's freezing outside. Yeah. And when you you I mean, got to wash your gears basements are good. Everything. Right. But unless you yeah. have a wife, then that usually doesn't fly so well. Like, what are you doing in my basement? It's, I, I'm not a brewer. Oh, I was I'm gonna say, like, is that how that goes, Jen? I know he doesn't brew, but is that why? That's exactly why. <laughs> because I have a basement and it's full of recording crap in awesome drinks. And you have a dad that brews more beer than he can possibly right. drink. And so if why he never finishes my bar, he's I, I'm, he's not he gonna, gonna throw have some a tap. tap in? I have a tap Ooh, already. Yeah. I've got the tap. I just don't have a bar. I might be over it. here Wednesday, Thursday, <laughs> Tuesday, and Monday too. I don't Come know. On, it's like cheers up in the hizzy. Where everybody knows your show. If you're if it's your house, everybody's gonna know your name. Otherwise, it's pretty awkward that they're there. I'm kind of hoping there's an excuse for your dad to throw a party again this year. There's always an excuse for my dad to throw a party. Yeah. They always throw. Oh, gonna too have much a beer. Gotta unload it. Yep, party. Basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's been brewing beer every. I went every time I go over there. He's got more beer. I'm like, what are you doing? He's brewing it up. The time we went over there, he did like a barrel of beer. Yeah. And now he's doing it. I just closed my eyes and yeah, I'm like, I don't want to give you head burn now. Yeah, head burn. It's head burns awful. Moist <laughs> down here. <laughs> moist. Yes. Everybody loves that word. My father made a 90 moist. minute IPA. Oh, yeah. He's like, it's a pain in the ass. It's like, he it takes so much, mall, uh, so much of the Hops. grains and he's pushing the grains and they're getting oh, plugged yeah, yeah. up and the, he's trying to rinse them. And it was, it took him like I, something like 16 hours mm. to make the beer. But it's really good. But 90 minutes is the hop like, time, yeah. Right, and then yeah, and then he sit down. And you can't bother him because he's like, I, he's got like three minutes. Yeah, you're trying to put him in the my hops, car. Yeah. He's like, you got two minutes. I'll help you. And then he's gonna go throw some more hops in. It was, it's all crazy. It is. Good beer. Good beer. I like good it. beer. Fruity, but not too fruity. I don't what? like fruit in my beer. Beer is the recipe, bitches. It is. That's it. Question of the day. I mean, there are some beer. beer. There are some beer mixers that aren't bad. There are but no good beer recipes. I don't know what's Snake the, uh, bite. Red eye. Yeah, there you go, red eye from cocktail. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good egg, right? Yes. Yeah. I th I thought we were talking about good, good, good drinks. Then then you have like a uh, you can do a, uh, it, a putting, shandy, which is beer and lemonade. Uh, yeah. I was just gonna that's say really putting good. lemonade doesn't and, uh, count. What's, that's, um, that's not like cocktail. A bloody Mary mix with a beer. Is oh, it's a uh, yeah. Ew. Yeah. Ew. There's a word for it. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, we did the Mexican bulldog, uh, which was a Corona uh, dunk to the margarita. I know what you're thinking yeah. of too. 
No, that's or clamato. No, clamato. Yeah, this is right. this is the way it should be. No eggs, yeah. no grenadines, no lemonades. Beer? Don't add any girly shit like beer fruits is and lemonade. Enough. That Sangria it, it can it up. stand on its own. Yeah, like a good tequila or a good scotch, it can totally stand on its own. Right, and you're. It's like root beer. You just don't put it in a cocktail. Yeah, you don't. Well, you could put root beer in a cocktail. No. You, <laughs> don't mix a good beer with something. Don't waste a good beer in a mix. If you're gonna mix something, right. don't waste a good beer in a mix. And don't buy beer that you can waste. So don't mix beer because you don't want to buy the beer that you can waste. Yeah, you, you should only drink good beer. Wow. All right, micro brew, macro brew. Which is what? Are you, what's your deal? Are you into the Bud Lights, Budweisers? I know our European crowd is gonna be like, "What the hell is that stuff?" No, we only drink real beer. Hey, they're owned by Germany now. Yeah, in bed. A, a, a Germany. It's a not Germany. German. It's, <laughs> a German now, company. it's it's just one Germany. Yeah. It's not German. It's I like both, to be honest with you. Switzer. The, the macro brews are good sometimes. In the they just actually had a news story in this bed. week on the morning sometime that the big beer guys like Miller and Coors are their sales are going down while the micro brews are all going up. <sighs> There's so many. That's the trick. Micro brews are not as micro as you think they are. They yeah. like Sam well, Adams is not are. a micro Sam brew. Adams. Not anymore. They're but they they portray themselves they actually, that way they so they look like the underdog. Changed the law at one point. Sam Adams still wanted to be t be a micro brew. So they upped the the law, the, the classification like of organic micro, stuff. Yeah, the classification of a microbrew was like so many barrels a year. Yeah, but when Sam Adams was getting to that limit, like we can either not sell it. They more raised beer. it, and so they can still be a microbrew, from what I understand. That's awesome, guys. All right, so there you go. Sam has some good stuff. Though. A beer cocktail for your whenever this gets released. What? Monday. You said beer cocktail? No. A beer drink. A beer cock. A beer, beer tasting. Review on a cocktail right. show. show. Okay. Is what I should have said, but I took shortcuts you and did. it came out sounding wrong. <laughs> Completely contradicting what I said earlier. That's where I was going. Ah, yes! All right. That's right. We're, all right, we're done. Plus. Everyday drinkers. Oh, you know what? You want to buy that mug? Yeah, that's right. That's a really cool awesome drink beer tasting com. glass. Yep. I like it. That's you get my your whole nose house. Right in it. My father's whole house is full of those suckers right there. Get That's the smell. Belgian beer glass. Yeah. Belgian. There's lots of good things in Belgium. Belgians have a lot of character. That's right. Did you say Belgia? <laughs> yeah, but I was hoping that nobody was going to catch on until they watched the video. You can't say that with four people here. <laughs> That's right. I, I, I try to slip weird things in. I know you use Skullfuck. Nobody said anything. Well, how about what's the worst beer you've ever tasted? Worst beer you've ever tasted? Anything with an egg yolk in it? Red Dog. Red Dog? You like Red Dog? Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, dude, he has these like that. tattooed in Red Dog. He's got Red Dog all up all over the place. I love that. Does that even exist? Back in high school, it was a bad night. That's all. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't count. What's a bad beer that doesn't have to do with you blowing it out your nostrils? I don't like Michelob. That's too watery. Uh, St. Pauli Miller, Miller. What is Natty it? Natty Light. Or Natty, Natty Light, Light tastes mm. like water that's just gone oh. bad. What about a Nasty Nary? No idea. That's it. No, oh, that's a hipster beer. I won't touch it. Anymore. Hipster beer? <laughs> no hipster beers for you! Right? Why don't you knock that over while you're at it? Ah! I'll get that. It's, it's We're done. Thing. We're teaching you how to drink. <laughs> Woohoo! I swear there's a bug in my lung. Hmm. Oh, it's all in my head, I think, but. It... Dude, I hate that. I, used to, I had cuts from when it hit, like went down and tried mm. scratching and coming out. Oh, that's not nice. Thanks for that. I went to the de dentist. I'm like, can you just, like, because it felt like it was, like, right there. Yeah. And I'm like, it feels like there's. I know I hit a bug, and it feels like it's stuck up against my <coughs> back of my mouth. I hate that. Yeah, and they're like, no, that's not what that is. I'm like, well, what is it? It's like, well, when, when it's it's, it's just it's so like sensitive that yeah. when it hits it, you swallow it all fine, but the, <coughs> it leaves like marks, and it, it's really annoying. That's nice. Thank you for the nightmare. Yeah, that's, <laughs> so. that's interesting. I saw a thing on the chive. It was a guy. He had like gauges in his cheeks. They were like this big. So he had gauges here, gauges, smaller gauges here, like That's nose gauges. Ridiculous. You could so see his jaw close. from the side. Like he could like breathe with his mouth. Yeah, yeah. Literally. Well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Throw some food in there. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Cool. It's disgusting. When, when so, that changes the story when you say, what are you doing? I'm <laughs> stuffing my mouth hole. I'm, I mean, you have to go the rest of your life you like that. Why would you ever no, do that? Those will close up over time. His dentist Not must the love him. The big holes, the gauges. His dentist has like three points of access. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, that, we, that, we, that's, just that's so employable. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's, exactly. That's your, he works, works for headlines. a circus. <laughs> anyway. Okay, thank you, Captain. He what? saw that. Yeah, it was weird. He had his OMG. his tongue was split and it was like sticking out one of the holes. It was weird. It's like when he's sleep, you still drool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had to put you don't like, have a choice. No, you had to, you had to put like seals on. Yeah, he's probably got plugs or something. 
when he eats, he's gonna plug it up. Yeah, like big. No, but like those big like corks. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like what they do with cows when they cut a hole in the sides. So yeah. They get, like, oh. Samples to do with those. Mur. Mur. Ready? Mur. 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 Here we go. Let's go. Hey, we're done. You're gonna break more shit. I know. <laughs> I don't have anything else you to break. Hold, yeah, you do. Look behind you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the place to break. Tornado, it. this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you a Muppet?